Well, the big buzzword in the CAD industry in the last year or so is something called direct editing. And direct editing is something that SolidWorks introduced in the 2009 release with our move face command. But we've expanded the capabilities of direct editing for 2010 and I think you're really going to like what I have to show you here. First of all, what is direct editing and why would you use it? Well, direct editing is a way that we can make modifications to a part model without any regard for how the feature was created. That is, it's a non-history based type of edit. It has a couple of applications. First off, if you work with imported geometry a lot of times, like what we have here, it's just an imported part, just a dumb solid. Direct editing allows us to go in and make edits to an otherwise dumb model. The second reason that direct editing can be useful is uh, when you're making edits and you don't really know or are not concerned with how the model was put together. For example, maybe a user who is editing a model that he didn't construct. Um, in the past, that's been difficult. Uh, it's required the user to have some understanding about how the, the features were put together. Well, with direct editing, we no longer have to worry about those kind of things. So let me give you a couple of demonstrations and show you how we've really innovated on this subject of direct editing and how SOLIDWORKS does it better than anybody else. Let's first take a look at uh, some feature recognition enhancements. When I pick on this boss fe feature right here, uh, we can now directly go into a feature recognition process and it's really transparent to the user now. Just by picking on the edit feature command, you'll see that SOLIDWORKS prompts us to whether or not we want to recognize the features. But it's doing more than that now. With SOLIDWORKS 2010, when we recognize a feature, it, not, it, it can also recognize the child features, the dependent features. Here's why this is significant. Look at what just took place if we look at our feature manager tree. SolidWorks recognized this as a rectangular boss extrude, followed by a cut extrude, followed by a fillet. Now that, to, to most of us, would look like a pretty intuitive way. In fact, that's similar to the way that any of us in here would have modeled a feature like that. So the feature recognition can can now uh, take a look at child features and it it uh, recognizes in a much more intuitive way. The other thing that's cool about this is it gives you individual editing capabilities. So now you can go back and modify the individual fillet radii, for example, or go back and modify the cut profile. It's not locked into just a piece of dumb geometry. So that's a great improvement in terms of feature recognition. Now, as far as the, uh, the direct editing capabilities go, here's what we've done. We take that move face command that we introduced in 2009 and we make it just a simple right mouse click now. And we've also included a very intelligent triad that gives us the capability of dragging or rotating this editing feature in any of the six degrees of freedom. So let's just drag it down vertically. And you can see I get the, the nice ruler preview here uh, so I can lock in a precision edit on that. And just like that, we've made a complex edit to that part without any knowledge of how that feature was created. Now the other thing that's significant of this, about this, remember, is that this was an imported geometry. So that's not really a feature, it's just a piece of geometry. So we've, we've uh, made a complex edit there. Um, let's do a couple more examples. Um, this looks to me like a whole pattern, even though it's not really a whole pattern, it's, it's imported geometry. Uh, I want it to behave like a whole pattern. So SOLIDWORKS has given us a new selection tool called Select Connected Faces. Again, just right through the right-click menus. Select Connected Faces is kind of like an intelligent, it's, it's a way of SOLIDWORKS is predicting the type of faces that I want to select in addition to the one, this one little round hole. And it sees that it looks kind of like a pattern, that there's some other faces similar to it. So it goes ahead and grabs those faces as well. And that's really convenient because now when I use my Move Face command, I don't have to go around and select the individual faces. I can just grab on one of them and select all the connected faces. Now I can use my Move tool and let's just rotate that whole pattern a little bit there. Nice. That's a great example of direct editing. Here's an even more complex example. Let's take a look at one of these ribs down here. And you can see that this is an angled rib. Uh, it's got fillets, it's got draft, and it's intersecting with uh, some, uh, some compound surfaces here. We can take that this uh, select connected faces to grab all the faces of that rib tool, of that rib feature, use our new move tool. In fact, what's going to be really convenient here is for me to move my, my triad and align it to the edge where that rib resides. And that way, when I drag this, I can drag it just in one particular direction. Really easy now to just move that feature without any regard for how it was created. Let's do that one more time. This time, you'll see when I use my Move tool, not only can we move the, those group of faces, but we can now make a copy of them as well. So it's kind of like doing a pattern feature without knowing 
how to make a pattern. It's great for uh, a, a casual user or great for somebody who just needs to go in and make some edits without having to become a real CAD expert and understand the, uh, the feature history behind a, a, a complex feature like that. So some great enhancements to direct editing and you can see it's, it's very deep in terms of the types of geometries that it supports. One last example, let's take another one of these, uh, these little boss features over on the end here and let's use our uh, select connected faces. This time I'll grab all of the interior and exterior faces. See how SolidWorks is really intelligent as far as knowing what faces to grab here. I'll, I'll use my move tool and let's just align it to the top face of this guy. That way I can move it anywhere in and, and preserve the, the, uh, the, the depth of that feature so that they stay in the same plane or they terminate in the same plane. Watch as I move this over to the side. You can see the dynamic preview that I get. It's automatically um, calculating the transitions and the intersections for that complex shape so that I don't have to come back in and do any trimming operations or anything like that. It's just intelligent. It works the way I, I'm thinking. It works the way I want to work. So that's really cool. Uh, that's a, a great improvement to direct editing. Uh, that's kind of been the buzzword in, in the CAD industry and uh, not to worry, SolidWorks continues to push the envelope and continues to innovate uh, in the way that we've implemented direct editing so that you can either work history based non-history based or a combination of the two. If you're working with imported geometry or if you just want to design in a more fluid and make, uh, make edits in a more fluid, seamless uh, fashion, direct editing is going to be a great tool for you.